Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try a gluten free dough. It's a gluten free burrito, uh, beef and potato, all natural ingredients, no hydrogenated oils, zero grams of trans fat, frozen. That just happened to be what all is on the front. Uh, let's see. It is, I know it's 260 calories, but beyond that, I don't remember. Oh, there you go, 260 calories, um, 35 milligrams of cholesterol, which is pretty high actually. Um, Sodium is 320, that's not bad. Carb, protein, 11 grams of protein, so it'll last you a little while. Um, so, again, this is a, a gluten free beef and potato burrito. What we're going to do is you discard the packaging, wrap it in a paper towel. Um, I'm actually going to wrap it in a, um, a piece of parchment paper because I think it works better. We'll see. We'll see how it works with this brand. So I'm one to one and a half minute and then turn it over and then do it for another one to one and a half minute. I'll probably just go ahead and do it for, probably do it in a minute and a half and I'll do it a minute on the other side when I flip it over. So, um, and you can do it in the oven if you really want to. So I, I'm assuming this is going to look like a regular burrito. These were $2.99 at Lucky's Market, by the way. I don't know if they have Lucky's Market there or not. But yeah, just standard burrito. It is cracked, but it's okay. So I'm going to wrap this up and get in the microwave and I'll be back. Okay, this is not directly out of the microwave because it didn't explode into a bunch of pieces. But this is it after I cut it up. Um, I wanted to comment the the texture of these is like a wonton almost. Like it's a, it's a really thin, shiny, um, like tortilla almost. So it smells okay. It, it's not, it doesn't smell bad. It just smells different. So I'm gonna let this cool off for just a just a minute, and uh, and I'll be right back. Okay, it's had time to cool off. Let me put it a little closer. Here's the bottom I'm gonna take. That's what it looks like inside, by the way. Plenty of uh, plenty of meat in there. Not a bad flavor, not bad texture. The tortillas are just a little bit tough. The outside, it's a little tough, but it's not horrible. It's just a little tough. And if you eat that thin, you wouldn't think it would be tough, but they are. The flavor's pretty good. It reminds you of, like if you're frying hamburger for a, for a tacos or something, you know, you get the hamburger in there. And then maybe a little bit of like a Worcestershire sauce or something like that. That's what it kind of tastes like. Don't really get potatoes. I mean, I'm sure there's potato in there. Matter of fact, I can see one right there. But um, but you can't really taste the potato. Maybe just more of a filler than anything. Overall, it's pretty good. I like the flavor of the of the hamburger in there, or the meat, whatever, beef. Um, I like it. The texture of the tortillas could be a little softer, but, you know, I could microwave them just a little bit less. I ended up doing a minute in a minute and 20 i probably could have done a minute a minute i mean a minute and a half a minute and 20. i probably could have done a minute and a half in a minute and it'd been hot enough i would have been fine but i was worried it wouldn't be hot enough so if i use any more of these um, let's say that I'll, I'll do the minute and a half a minute so overall pretty good flavor pretty good quality pretty good texture um price wise 2 dollars is a little expensive for these but if you're gonna need to eat gluten free that's probably what you're used to paying for that kind of stuff anyway or you don't buy them period so, um, so I'm going to give this one a four. Definitely worth a try. If you see this in your area, definitely give them a try. I think you'll like them. Um, like I said, the flavor is like a beef and onions and a little bit of just a touch of Worcestershire sauce. So anyway, talk to you next time.